Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. My name is Mr. Maxwell, and welcome back to another chat about video games. Yes, another one. I quite like that intro. Yeah, I've, got, I've pretty much getting that down to a T. Yeah, you're getting it. Yeah, well done. You're getting it down to a T. See, see, regular things. I mean, granted, we didn't we could, we didn't do this last week due to the fact that literally there was very little. To There's talk very about. little to talk about. It's the well, it's the thing that's happening right now. Um. But, well, I mean, there was, there was like one thing to talk about, but I didn't want to do a whole video. On the one thing. On the one thing, which was the, the, the PlayStation controller. Yes. That's come out. It looks, and if I get my editing right, I will put a picture <laughs> future of self. the. F f future you, put a picture of. Put a of... picture of the, the controller for the PlayStation 5. Yeah, or... it's, it looks, I mean, one, it looks like it's going to be black and white. Which is fine. Which is fine. It also is a kind of indication of what the console is going to actually look like. The console is probably going to might be white, which might would be, be quite good because then it literally goes with my PS4 Pro and my Xbox, which are both white. Which are both white. <laughs> yeah, no, but it could be it could be black and white. It could be black and white. Which, which considering my my channel and the fact that <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you, I'm a Sony fanboy anyway, so I was going to get it, but it's kind of like I ain't got a choice now. Yeah, you kind of have to. Kind of have to. It's like it's black and white. My motif is black and white, and my animal, my animal is that I'm going named after is black and white. It's like I ain't got a choice now. Yeah, it's like you know, it's it, it's it's like people people who go with like green colors for their thing. It's like you have to you have to go with Xbox. <laughs> you you haven't got a choice. You haven't got a choice. <laughs> yeah, green is like the Xbox color. Yeah, Nintendo is red. Nintendo's red. Um, um, see, that's why you need to go be like Sega me. was blue. You need to go like me and just be every color. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then that way I can have all the consoles and not not align myself to one. I know, but the, have you seen a... Mo there is no such thing as a multicolored magpie. Exactly. This is there my is point. There is no such thing as a multicolored magpie. That's why I'm magpie. saying you need to be like me. You're, you're stuck now. You're a magpie. You're you're black and white. But... I'm, I'm, I'm committed to that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... Uh, Anyway, it, it kind of looks like it's it's a it's like a merging of the Xbox there, pad and there's a Ghibli movie, right? There's yeah. a Ghibli movie. I've seen this, and there's like a few memes of it. Like it's um, it's the one with the the big the big giant rabbit. Yes, uh, my neighbor Totoro, I think he's called. Yes, is that one? That... It kind of looks like him. You know the big rabbit. Yes, it kind of looks like him. But just imagine that his ears aren't like, like down. Yeah. Instead of up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you get. That's what it looks like. Because it looks like underneath where the joy pads are, it looks like it's got teeth. Yeah, because the <laughs> giant, the big giant light that they've got, that's that's not, now underneath. That's isn't now it? on. It's like, like underneath and like to the sides of the yeah. touchpad. It looks like they're still gonna have the touchpad. Yeah. Which hardly anyone uses. But <laughs> um. The touchpad gets is mainly used for um, picking up menus and that. You know, menus and that. Final Fantasy fourteen actually uses it as the cursor. Yes. So you use your phone. Yeah, I know. The thing, oh, yeah, which is awkward as friggin' hell. It's awkward as fuck. It's so much easier just to push the touchpad and then move it with the D pad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it's a good use of a touchpad. Um. So. Yeah, it, it does look a bit like if you mix the PS4 pad with the Xbox pad, in a sense. A little bit. A little bit. But it's not a bad thing. I, I, to be perfectly honest, I actually kind of do like the design. I've got both um, of them here. I've got the PS4 and the Xbox One. Uh, but they're off there. They're both good controllers. Mix them put together. I mean, what two good things can't make a bad thing. I mean, they can, but we're, we're, not, <laughs> we're not going off <laughs> that we're not, imagine. We'll be positive. <laughs> it's... What well, uh, what oh, what was the new feature they said they were going to have? Because you've been, we've been trying to find the bloody article and we've, we, we, you've been struggling yes. to get it. Yes, um, it was was it not something to do with the emotions? Yeah, something. so they're replacing the Dual Shock basically. Yeah, it's something to do with like your the lights because there's more lights on it now. Uh, like in certain games, if it has like a weather thing, it'll the, it'll change it'll color more... according to like the weather yeah, as possibly. well as um. If you're in a story, your 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 controller will like change color according to the mood. I think something like that. It was it was very very weird. Yeah, it was thing, very weird. The thing is, is the light the light on your PlayStation, your pay, on the PlayStation pad, the light yeah. on the PS4 pad, it can it can change color. I'm just wondering if it gives it more if there's more like diversity in it. I think that's what it possibly. is because the mainly 
the light is mainly to do with your health in a game. Usually. Yes. Um, <laughs> FIFA... Uh, let me, FIFA. We're not talking about FIFA. No, no. I'm okay, just giving examples. No, don't I'm giving FIFA examples. FIFA this is a safe is... space from, <laughs> from FIFA. FIFA. I, like, the EA game, the EA sports games, it's usually the... Like, your... The, it'll change the colour to your, like, controller. Your... Oh, yeah. What's the word? The, the bit that shows, like, your, who you're controlling. Like, the colour yes. of that. It, you, the pad will change to that colour in that. Um, I'm trying to think what else does change the thing. Um, oh, Formula One. Formula One, the Formula... Uh, mine's an older version. It's Formula One 2017. Yeah. Uh, F1 2017... Um, it will be green when you're racing, but when like you go into a, a caution, yellow, yeah. it'll actually turn to yellow. Yeah. Um, and same with safety car and that, mm. which is a cre- really cool feature. Um, yeah, I mean, it's already. I think potentially it could have more. It's probably going to have more things than more just features and be, be able to like multi do multiple different colors. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, it's interesting. It. Probably is a a feature that will be very rarely used. Yeah. With most or, of the or it's going to be it's features. going to be it's going to be that feature that uh, you know is there but you don't really pay attention to it. Yeah. Like like the light on the controller that we have yeah. right now. Um, most likely. Um, yeah. I mean, that's literally all we've got for the PS5 is the the controller. The that's it. That, that's it. Uh, we still that don't and, have a price. <laughs> that and the fact that we know it's going to be it looks like it's going to be released in sort of like stages batches. Yeah, which is understandable um, considering the situation. Yeah, it's because they still want to reach their target deadline to get get it released before the end but of the year. Obviously, because everything that's there's happened not going to be as much with um with the uh, the current situation. Yeah, as YouTube likes us to say. Despite despite YouTube what YouTube say, we all know the fucking algorithm is crap. <laughs> yeah, um, and we'll bash with a high, with the hammer of mighty mightiness. And just basically fuck your channel over because, well... Why not? It can. <laughs> Why not? Um, so, yeah. That, YouTube that's... is YouTube and YouTube is the worst. Like like Conan. Yes. Exactly. Anyway, so we're going to move on. Reasons. We're going to move on. We are going to go to something that I don't really care about, but I just think it's kind of funny. Just because of the, the awfulness of the, the last game that they came up with. This is on Kotaku. This is by Ian Walker. And this was done on the 24th, so... Three days ago. Three days ago? Yeah, three days ago. Um, WWE 2K is skipping 2020, so there's not going to be 2K21, basically. No. Uh, And that's understandable. That is absolutely understandable of of the absolute mess that 2K20 came out in. God, that game is bad. And, oh. I've never seen a worse AAA game be released. I mean, it gives Fallout 76 a run for its money on how broken that I think it's was. worse. I actually think it's worse than Fallout 76. Because you can have... I suppose... Because you could at least still l- do something. Yeah, you can in... laugh at Fallout 76. This was beyond a joke. This was... Yeah, this was... It was beyond a joke. One, the character models were horrific for some of them. Becky Lynch. She didn't have a face. Well, no, no, that was a, that was a that was a bug in regards to adding a mask or something, um, but sh- it was just like they were it w- they were worse than like last yeah, year. I think they did not look at all like last year's. Be- Becky Lynch was one of the worst ones that I saw because, like, especially considering the thing, the fact that you think Becky Lynch was the cover, yeah, style. She was the, the star rock on the front. The rock was just the awful. rock. Oh, the rock looked like. Like a worse version of his Scorpion King. Yes. In uh, The Mummy Returns. Yes. He looked worse than that. And that is, that's that's gone down in history as one of the worst CG effects ever. Um, he, oh, the fact that the game would just... Like the collision detection between the ropes and everything just didn't work. And like so many things were there broken. are uh, There are so many videos on YouTube about like how many bugs there are in the that game. The physics. The hair physics. The fact that it would just uh, like the hair would just all of a sudden just completely freak out. I mean, I I understand like the development of that game was just complete like uh, Ukes midway through were basically like we're done. We're out. Yeah. We're out. Um, and Two K went. No, oh, it's fine. We'll just give it to this this development team. We'll give it to our own development team. Yeah. Who. 
then had to learn how to use Yuke's game engine yeah. from scratch. <laughs> um, and they didn't delay. They didn't, you know, and it's yeah, they didn't delay. They didn't delay, and they just plowed ahead. I will. I, there is one thing that's one good thing that's come out of Two K Twenty, and that is it does show you that um, the yearly release thing is not necessarily a good no plan. Oh no, it's not. The yearly release thing is never a good thing. It's like, it's a reason why. Call of Duty has three different studios now developing it because it's not a it's not a one year cycle. Call of Duty, it's yeah. a three year cycle. Those companies, those developers are working on Call of Duty for three like like Modern Warfare, the reboot. Yeah, that has been worked on for three years by mm. Infinity Ward. That's why yeah. it's come out the way it has. That's why it's come out in the polished state that it has. Because despite my, my despite anyone's complaint about it, you can't say there's many bugs in it. No. I mean, yeah, there's the usual cheaters and spammers just, it's, and aimbotters and all that sort of stuff, but yeah. that's that's fucking. Weird. It's a it's a fairly decent game. Yeah. It exactly. comes out. It comes out to uh, what it you works. would expect. <laughs> yeah, you. C- it, it comes out to uh, uh, what you would expect. It's it works in it and it's a polished finished product. Yeah. Granted, Activision are fucking assholes, but still, like, the campaign's finished. Mm. The campaign, you know, I did when I went through the campaign. I did not come across a single fucking bug. Mm. Um, the multiplayer is still po- is is polished mm. and has you know has all its bells and whistles. I think the multiplayer. I think they've got they've got they've got multiplayer down to a T. For yeah. Call of Duty. For Call of Duty. Like, granted, granted there's a couple of modes. I, there's a mode that I wish would be back, brought back in, and not for a fucking price, Activision. Um, sabotage. Yes, I, I want I miss my back. sabotage. I miss sabotage. I miss sabotage, but fine. It, it doesn't... The point I'm making is, like, people, like, 2K, EA, um, look at, like, the Call of Duty f- success that it has year in, year out, yeah. and they're like, well, if all we do is release the same uh, release the same game every year, we'll have the same success. I mean, in regards to EA and their f- sports franchises, yes, you do, because... Yeah, but... Your you, fan base, that's because the fan base for them Well, are, it's not just that. Uh, like, uh, they've actually done comparison to, uh, between the FIFAs, like, they have steadily, their sales in those games are steadily dropping. Yeah, because people are finally getting fed up with it. <laughs> it's took them a while, but they're finally getting fed up with yeah. it. <laughs> um, but, like I say, it's, it's, it's a misconception thinking that, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare has released, and then they, they're starting on, yes, they're starting, Infinity Ward are starting on their next Call of Duty game, mm. but, that's not going to be the next Call of Duty game that's being released. Yeah, that's not going to be released for another. That's going to be no, no, Sledgehammer. Yes, yeah, Sledgehammer is next. It's either Triarch or Sledgehammer. Uh, what's the, last year was a Triarch, Black Ops Four, and then so the next one should be Sledgehammer's lead 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 one. Which was which one was the last one? Black Ops Four. Black Ops Four. That was Triarch. Was it? Didn't yes. Modern Warfare come out after Black Ops Four? Because Black Ops Four is the one with no campaign. Yes. So then Modern Warfare. I'm sure Modern Warfare yeah. came out. Yeah, which is Infinity Ward. Triumph did the... La- did the, the... Oh, right, I get what yeah, you mean now. So the now. next one should be the one that's led by Sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean now. I um, was I was, I was, was being stupid. That's fine. <laughs> everyone has <laughs> I was being everyone, stupid. Everyone has their minds. But anyway, the point I'm making is like, you can't make a, a... You can't, from scratch, make a game in the year and have it come out... To the AAA standard. To the AAA... Well, no, you can come out as a AAA standard because the AAA standard is actually really low. <laughs> Yeah, Fallout seventy six. Yeah. Fallout seventy six. Um, Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> They're still going on about um, Anthem two point oh. You know, I, I just it's it's done. You're does dead. Actually, You've died. You, does anyone actually still play Anthem? Let it go. Literally, because like, like, just do like Frozen and let it go. <laughs> I just, just let it go. <laughs> um. The yeah, you you can't make a game in a year. Not to the like the depth and standards that the AAA gaming industry has, has apparently given themselves, and 
expect it to be a polished, finished product. Like, yes, there are, like, indie jams and all that, where people make really good games in 48 hours. Yes, yeah. that's a thing. But there's a reason why they only have them, like, once or twice a year. <laughs> Yeah, that, and also if you actually look at those games... They're not, built, they're not big games. Yeah, they're not big games, and they're not built to be, like, big, giant, story-driven yeah, exactly. games. They're all, like, 2D... Uh, uh, with, like, over 100 hours of playtime on them. Yeah, they're, they're not, not built designed like that. for that. They're designed for, like... 10, 15 minutes play. Yeah, they're, they're designed, like, little, like, old-school, old-school arcade games. Yeah. Where it's just simply a game for you to kill 20 minutes, half an hour. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, the f- the fact that WWE is gonna be there's not gonna be a WWE game this year. It might be good. It might it might, it be might a good actually thing. be a good thing because it gives them time. Hopefully, I think they have announced that the a games uh, there is a WWE game coming though this year. I think it's called Brawl for All. Oh God! I think. Oh God! I can't remember. No. Come on, it's bra- it's Brawl something. It well, they did. Have, they did have. Remember when they did have Brawl for All, where the box, the boxing, the boxing, thing, where yeah. was it? Bart Gun, Bart Gun, Gun, and then we get absolutely he got destroyed, destroyed by, by Butterbean. Bean. Yeah, yes, he did. He did indeed. Yeah, there was that. Um, I hope it's not that. Uh, <laughs> it won't be that. It won't be that. I just. It'll be a mobile game. You it'll think? be a cheap mobile think game. It'll be a che- yeah. yeah, mobile game. Probably they're doing quite well. But anyway, it gives games. it gives the developers time to like get to grips with either get to grips with the engine they have or, or make their own. Or it gives them time to actually find another studio. No, they the thing is always like the game needs to be in development from now. Yeah, but we don't know when the next one's gonna come out. That's very true. It, let's say the end of next year. Yeah, it'd have to be in development now, but it's not gonna that's not gonna happen. Because if they do that now, if they do it, say they want it out by the end of next year, and they've only just started developing it now, yeah. it's going to come out in pretty much the same. No, no, no. The thing is, right, is like it won't be the perfect, but it'll be in a better state than two K twenty. Oh yeah, no, but like no, I don't want. I don't want that. I don't want to be paying like. But 50, this is the thing. Quid for a half, this is the thing. Two K Two K have already stated that they're going to cut the funding for this for the next WWE game. That's what I mean. So they will want something out next year because the contract with the WWE is for a, Vince wants his fucking game per year. He wants That's his sports true. franchise. Mm, That's true. Um. So like the maybe they'll give them the because of what happened with this one. The, the complete and utter mess that has happened. Mm. Maybe they, they're giving them this one year off to like make another one. Maybe. I just... I just don't think it's going to be um, worth it in the long Probably run. Probably not. No, no. they're not going to give them the time to actually make a game. To actually make a game. Do you also think 2K gives anyone a time to make a game? Like a Gearbox time to make games? Gearbox. Gearbox. As in... Randy Gears Pitchford. Of... Yes. Yeah. As in Were you going to say ge- as in board fans? As no. in board No, Gears of War. I don't know. I was... I was... I was... Because of the gear where I was like, yeah. no, no, that's wrong. Um, that's epic. Who yeah. don't do the, do, do Gears of War anymore. There's a difference. Randy Pitchford is a dick yes. just like 2K. Yes, that's very true. Um, so they get on fine. And that's why they get... I think... Gearbox t- gets the time to make those That's those true. Games. They also have uh, GTA and Red Dead Redemption to milk, yeah. so they're they're fine. They can, they can give them the time, and whether they do or not is a completely different thing. Yeah, but the thing is though is that the class. The, the, yeah, the problem is is that they're shoving w, the WWE games in with FIFA and the basketball game, and it's like, no, this is a sport franchise. You get one every year. <laughs> Fuck off. I would, I would love sports franchise games to literally take a year off, just like release a fucking kit and roster update. Yeah. Just do that. Here's here's one thing about do that for one or two years, right? And then during that time, just fucking work on an actual new game. Engine. Let's look at FIFA, right? FIFA does that stupid thing at the beginning of it. If you start a career mode, there's that stupid thing where you can. Um... Do it so it's done the latest transfers. Yeah, I don't understand why they didn't just. They've got that. They don't need to release anything else because they've got the latest transfers. 
No, it's because of the kits. Right. It's? Yeah. So they keep that, and then yeah. you be like, right, there you then go. Then they do the January transfer window update. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then there's that. And then you can just sort of like, you don't need to make another game the next for the next year. Oh, but they do. Because of all the kits. The kits change. Only a little bit. And the stats change. Oh, God. Yeah, but you can right, you can change that with the bloody... The yes, I, oh, I know updates. that. I know that. You know that. The world knows that. However, they can't charge 40... Uh, they can't charge 50 quid for that. That's true. I would personally think that that would be a damn good idea. I mean, also, uh, for 2K, they need to... Because I think all their sports games have been, like, panned. Well, yeah. Because um, if I remember correctly, NBA, NBA 2- 2K got... NBA 2K20 got, is literally a glorified casino. Yeah, and that got panned because panned, that also had massive bugs in it. Yes. Uh, WWE 2K20 yes. uh, was all god-awful. And that's pretty much all their only sports franchises that anyone cares um, about. What's the other one that they've got? I'm sure they've got three. They've probably got... Uh, I think they've got a uh, baseball one. Yes, but it's not called... Oh, no, it is. It's... Uh, uh, Major League Baseball 2K 2K something, something isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so because it's um, EA's one is called something else uh, NBA The Show The Show that's the one I think um, and yeah I don't think that did very well either so I think 2K really need to look at their sports section and be like yeah we need to actually take time in this you would think that I would think that yes the thing is though is that because of the way they monetize it they don't need a lot of people to buy the game they just need their whales to buy the game. That's true. It's like FIFA. FIFA will not FIFA will not change until football of the team is out of that game. Yeah, that's true. Which may or may not happen very, very soon, considering what uh, a lot of the country countries are doing regarding laws and loot boxes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, your cash cow is about to be milk dry. I hope you've got a backup plan because if you haven't <laughs> You're bugging. You are. Fucking screw. You are bugged. Anyway, uh, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, yeah, all sporting franchises. I think I think the com- companies now need to start looking at them and being like, yeah, we need to actually take time to make these games. Because the next FIFA game is going to be the exact same game. Yes. It's not going to be any different. Nope. Not going to change anything. Nope. Not going not gonna to do anything massive. That would change. Like the whole idea of this like... FIFA Street Mode. I know it's not called FIFA Street Mode. Uh, Volta it's Football. Fi- Volta Football. That's not even a lucky. That's not new. What? The- Come on. Um. But y- yeah, I just I'm 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 sick of sports. It's not. I'm not sick of sports games. I like sports games. Yeah. Like it's You're just, just the fact that I'm it. sick of them going. I've made the exact same game. Uh, but I want another forty quid off you so I can play it. So why would I give you forty quid when I've got? The first one that's exactly the same as the one that yeah. you've just released. Oh yeah, they keep going on about oh this is our new feature. What you what they actually mean is, especially in FIFA, is like this is the new feature that will override everything else. Yeah, regardless of like how situational it is. It's like for example, my uh, the late last FIFA I got was FIFA seventeen, and they had gone on about like oh the chess control we've we've improved that. Um, and yes, in a sense, they have. The problem is, is that the chess control overrides everything. When the, when it is more convenient to head the ball on goal, the game will go chess, chess. the ball <laughs> over the bar. <laughs> Despite how hard you're hammering the shoot button, they literally will go chest and the keeper will grab it. Yeah, chest and they've been tackled. Chest and it goes over the bar or goes wide or goes something. It, it is infuriating because um, the moment they start talking about the new feature, that is the feature that will override everything to its detriment. <sighs> I think but, that's enough about that. Uh, yeah, that's enough, enough about sports, sports games. In, in sports our, games. Our general problems with sports games. And like, like, like I said, I don't hate sports games. I, I generally do actually like my sports games. I just don't want to spend 50 quid on uh, the same game every There's year. There's no need. When there's no need to. At least when I was buying Pro Evolution uh, in PS2 generation, uh, when I was buying the Pro Evolution series, every new game, every new Pro Evolution game, had a lot more teams than yeah. previously. So there was a, there was at least an excuse or a reason to buy it. All right, but FIFA's got like every goddamn team. 
Yeah, FIFA's got like ridiculous amounts of leagues. It's like I would think like what you should actually do is release FIFA with the amount of the amount of leagues that it's got now. Yeah. Don't take any out. Keep it as it is. Even the Argentinian league, even the fucking Dutch league, even the even the Chile league, Chilean league, the fucking Brazilian, American MLS, Japanese, Chinese league. You know, keep you know, release, but like, and all the international teams that they have. Hell, why don't you do what you had in FIFA '98 and have every single fucking team and do the World for a World Cup? Because you did it before on a PS fucking one. <laughs> Yeah, but they can't. Uh, they can't charge you for that. That's why, right? Anyway, like, no, no, no. And then, and then, just like add, like if you want, like uh, I'm trying to think of a league that isn't in the fucking in FIFA at the moment. I'm struggling. There isn't one. Uh, no, I actually like if you want non-league. Now I'm trying to remember. I pretty much think during the PS2 generation there was one FIFA game that had the conference, the football conference, mm. in England. Uh, but there was only one. It'd still be a douchebag move to do because you've had it in before and now you don't. But, uh, but like, the lower leagues in the English Football League, like, if you want the conference and the National League North and National League South. Yeah. I don't know. Two, three quid? Yeah. Per league, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> maybe a little bit less. Because all you're doing is buying pixels. <laughs> That's very true. Um... Why don't they do that? That would be much, a much, in my opinion, a much more fairer, um, fairer way to monetize the game. Yeah. Because you're paying for the work that's already done on the game, and then you're paying for the extra work for all these extra things. I mean, you could add in uh, the hell if you're not going to do that. Add in the the new the was it the Club World Cup that's just come. Charge a couple of quid for that. No, 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 no. That's been around for ages. Club no, World. no. I mean, um, in FIFA, I don't because I've never when I played FIFA, the FIFA that I played, which was twenty sixteen. Yes, sixteen was the last one. Sixteen was, was the last one I played. The 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 League World Cup wasn't in there. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not in seventeen either. I think that is new now for FIFA. FIFA, if they've got it in. But if it's not, but, yeah. Why not? Do some anyway, other. back onto WWE 2K20. Oh, oh, here's one. For a couple of quid, you know what? Nothing, because you're EA and you do it anyway. Create a team. No. <laughs> Just do it. No, because you know what they'll do? And then do? you can they'll build go, that up. They'll go the fucking um, way of uh, dead, or, dead or Alive. Oh, where well, you have to buy everything in one, like... Yeah, you you can buy create a team, then you have to buy all the different kits, then you have to buy the different colours, then you have to buy the different shorts, oh, then you have to buy, yeah. buy the and then there's then then they could even do stadiums like, oh well you have to buy this style and that style for the stadium or oh, you want the different roof, well you gotta buy that and no, no, no. I'm just throwing it out there. Um right. but anyway, so anyway. WWE two K it could be a blessing in disguise. It could be. We're gonna leave the sports sports games now. Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. We've, we've probably talked a little bit too much. Yeah, you, you kind of. I did try to change it, and then you just carried on talking. Dave, yeah, obviously. I do that. I apologize. <laughs> so we're gonna move on now to, and we're still talking about EA. Shockingly. Um, nice. the next Battlefield update will be its last. Notice it's not says, good news. <laughs> says uh, Dice. I think everyone can agree that Battlefield Five has not been a success. Um. It's shining glory. No, it's not been. It's, uh, it's not. a high a high point for dice. It's not. It is full of fucking pay to win guns. It is full of fucking um, bullshit mechanics. The fact that like, if the opposition team get all the tanks, that's it. They've won. There's a lot of maps like that, unfortunately. No, There's no, no just of... maps. Just like any time one team has all the armor, that's it. <laughs> That is it. It is so hard to fucking kill a tank without another tank. I know they um they nerfed the uh, they nerfed fucking the rocket, uh, the rocket launcher, the anti tank miss, uh, yeah. the bazookas, so and they all didn't that. do enough damage to the thing. So you needed like five guys to like, fire. I I fire when, rockets when I tank. first played it and I first got the whole thing of like I shot at a tank and it was armored, it was angled against me. It had actually angled against me, and I deflected. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then they did a whole bunch of updates. And then I literally, flash, 
flush. Right, this is the thing, right? It was a fucking... And it's not just, like, the tanks, like the Shermans and the Panzer Fours and the Tigers and the um, Chinookai, Chinus. Uh, which, by the way, the Chinus, they were fucking paper armor. <laughs> Literally, the, the 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 metal was the shape of the tank and that's it. Because yeah. they're designed to go up against rifles, not other tanks. <laughs> okay? <laughs> right? Um, and it was like, I, I had the rear of a fucking amphibious people carrier those things should literally combust when i sneeze on them and it's like nope no damage no damage what whatsoever the fu- they can't be that heavily armored because they have to fucking float <laughs> and, they, and it's like I, I understand that can't be too realistic but it's like you you made your whole deal your shtick on this as to be true to fucking like yeah the the whole idea of battlefield is that they're the realistic one yeah they're the realist they're more you know, that especially world um world war one uh battlefield one and battlefield five v yeah they they were make they they push this whole thing of like we're gonna be a little bit more realistic I mean granted I mean one you're not because everyone's running around with a fucking assault rifles. <laughs> yes. Which last time I checked wasn't even a thing in World War Two. Yes, there were yes submachine guns like the Tommy gun and the MP40. Was, and the MP40, they were a thing. Yeah, they. Exist. They were given to people. They were given to soldiers to shoot and fight. But do you know what else? Also, a lot of people ran. Around, a lot of people were running around in. You don't see in Private Saving Private Ryan everyone running around with a Thompson submachine gun. Do you want to know why? Because it was a dumb thing to do. Yeah. There was a lot of them that had the M1 Garand. There was a lot of Germans with the Karak 88. I'm not. Is it okay? No, no. I can't remember what the numbers are, but it looked like the the rifles. The rifle. The rifles. There was a lot of them having the fucking rifles, and it's like, why? I, it, why are you giving like everyone an assault rifle and then it's like the 2A was it the A2 or the 2A the Japanese assault the Japanese sub the type, the type 2A the type 2A which is like well, one, of the, one of the newer weapons which is a, like a fucking bone. cheat it's a nightmare that gun <laughs> it is a cheat there is a reason why everyone in that game is running around with that fucking gun because it does more damage than any it does more damage it fires faster it has more bullets you and you reload ridiculously fast with it. Here's the thing. The actual gun never made it out of the prototype. Yeah. Well, never made it out of the prototype. Do you wanna know why? Because it was shit. They did that with Battlefield One, didn't they? There was a lot of weapons in Battlefield One uh, that actually were just they, they they never made it out of prototype. Yes. Um, but the big thing with Battlefield 1 is ev- like a lot of the bolt action rifles for the snipers had unrealistic scopes. Yes. Like in World War 1 a lot of a lot of um a lot of uh, snipers bought their own scopes. Mm. Um apparently. I'm going off memory here of what I've read so it's like yeah. could but I'm pretty sure like apart from that I think the Americans like had a standard issued scope. But a lot of snipers, especially in the early period of the war, didn't. Yeah. <laughs> they they made that they either made their own or they had their own and but um that's yeah. Of thing. So but I I just like Battlefield they they dropped the ball with this one so badly. One that whole bloody press conference they had where they mocked everyone that didn't like the trailer. Yes. Two when they turned around and said, "Well, if you don't like our game, don't buy it." Yeah. Three, then they actually released the game. Three, they released the game with <laughs> fuck all in content wise. I think what like hardly any maps, and well, the maps that they had were just awful. I mean, a lot of the maps that they the the because we we played it. A lot of the maps uh, for the the standard too much. the standard one the standard maps that you got when you first released they're just open fields. For the there's snow. nothing in them. Yeah, well, there's a lot of open just fields, and. They dropped the ball massively in regards to, like, introductions and maps. Like, okay, Iwo Jima, the Iwo Jima map is pretty good. Yeah. It, and it is... So, the last update, the last main update, which gave us the, the Pacific. The, the Iwo Jima map. Um, did, 
Did it give us Wake Island as well? Which I think so, yeah. Is an awful it which did, is such hold on, a hold on. To play. It did fix a lot of the problems that I had with Battlefield. Yeah. When we um when we first when, started when we playing. first started playing it. Fixed a lot of the issues. And I did get back into playing Battlefield because of the Pacific update. Yes. Uh, but the pro- uh, the problem that I had was I just I don't know if if I didn't get a Pacific map, I wasn't having fun. Yeah. If I didn't get I want any of the Pacific maps, or I didn't get Rotterdam, the, the, the other the maps, street, the, c- the city map, the city map. If I didn't get any of those maps. The other maps, they were just sniper fests. They were they were boring. In all honesty, they were just kind of like, there's nothing here. You just got to run forward and hope you don't hope, get sniped. And hope hope you don't get sniped. That's if you're the attacker and if you're the defender. It's stand in a house, aim and shoot and hope your hope your team are good at sniping people. Yeah. Um, it did get better. And then I don't know. I think something because I did. I like I said. I kind of ran out of gas with uh, Battlefield, and I've started playing Call of Duty. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. Well, the thing, the, thing, the biggest thing is, is Call of Duty Modern War, uh, Modern Warfare came out, and it actually had a Battlefield mode. And yeah, it was it's like better. 64, sixty-four versus sixty-four. Yeah, it's better than friggin' Battlefield. Battlefield. Yeah. That's that's saying something. Um, so, but yeah, the, the the dropping of the ball also comes into like last year was the seventy fifth seventy fifth anniversary of the D Day landings. Yeah, not one map is the D Day landings. Not yeah. one. Not Omar. They don't have Omar Beach. Don't have Gold Juno. Um, what's the other American one? Because the Americans had Omar. Omaha, Omaha Beach and Utah. Yeah, Omaha and Utah. Yeah. And um, the British Canadian slash Canadians had Gold, Juno, and Sword. Yes. Oh. I like two. how I'm agreeing you. Because I, I, well, I, World War II, I totally know what you're talking <laughs> World about. World War II, I know my shit. I, I totally I, know what you're talking about. With certain aspects of World War II, I know my shit. I love that. that um, learning it. But they didn't put in any of them. And it's like, and then it's like the battles that they. It's the same problem with Battlefront 2. Which is also made by Dice for Survival. It doesn't have the battles that people really want to do. Or care about. Or care about. Like, they have a desert map. They don't have Battle of El Alamein. Oh, that's Jakku, isn't it? They have Jakku. Battlefront 2. Yes. It's Jakku, yeah. No, 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 like Battlefield 5, right? Just Battlefield 5. They have a desert map. Yeah. They don't have El Alamein. No. They don't have the Battle of the Kazamin Pratt. No. Why? Why? Why when you are... Setting this in World War Two and having like people fighting each other, why are you not having the big major points? There should have been the Russian. Ca- they should have had a Russian fucking set of maps. Yes. They should have had Kursk. They should have had something that represent Operation Barbarossa, the the the, the Battle for Moscow. They should have had the Battle of Stalingrad. They should have had um for. I would have liked the Battle of Stalingrad. I Stalingrad think. would have been amazing. That's if I remember correctly. That's just a tank first. No, no, no. That's Kursk. Is it Kursk? Yeah. It Kursk. Them. Kursk is or Operation Citadel. Is the battle of is basically the biggest tank battle in World War Two. That is literally like the entire a, a huge amount of the um, uh, Wehrmacht's armor against a lot of the the, the Soviets' armor, mm. and it is a massive tank battle. I mean, it's a huge battle anyway, but like it's known as the like one of the the biggest tank engagement in the war, right? El Alamein is the biggest tank engagement of uh, the Western Allies. Britain versus uh, um, the Eighth Army versus uh, Rommel's Africa Corps. Mm. They should have had that. The Kazimierz Pass, the first introduction of the Tiger against the Western Allies. Um, they should have had the D-Day landings. They should have had uh, uh, Mont- Montague, uh, uh the Battle of Casino. They mm. should have had um, Battle of the Bulge. They should have had the Siege of uh, Bastogne. They should have. There was so many like m- moments in World War Two that they just put the like bog standard vanilla maps in. Yeah. And the 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 one thing with with especially now, like in like previous generations, you could argue that they didn't have like the capabilities to make like actual events 
But nowadays, like, for example, uh, there's a World War One first person shooter. I think it's called Verdun. And they literally have the Battle of Verdun in it. Mm. <laughs> I mean, granted, it's the name of the game, so they would probably It'd be have... a bit weird. Be a if bit it weird. Wasn't. But, like, <laughs> it's not like just a random map that that is representing Verdun. No, they've literally made it look like Verdun at that time. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just they they missed so many opportunities. Yeah. And it's this is the thing I would have forgiven a lot of things like, for example, where's Midway? Where's the Battle of Midway? Just I mean, granted, I was terrible at flying the fucking planes, but having like just one map on the rotation where everyone's in a fucking plane. I don't think they do that anymore though. I don't. I don't. I can't remember the last game where they did. I think like it was Battlefield 1942. Probably. The downloadable only one. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um But yeah, it's 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 literally like why are they not, why I would have given a lot more of the things that are wrong in that game if it had literally been like, I don't care, I'm fighting I'm fighting for the for, for to um stop the Germans, you know, breaching the defences of Bastogne. I'm fighting the, the Wehrmacht um, attacking Kursk, mm. or I'm defending the gates of Moscow. I'm fighting through the streets of Stalingrad. I'm storming th- Omaha Beach. I think, if I'm honest, I think you're in a niche. You're I, in a niche you part. Know, no, of the I, do you know what? I think if they had gone for like we're going to give you the great battles of World War Two, there would have been a lot more people happy with it. Oh yeah, I think so. Because it's the same with Star Wars Battlefront Two. Yeah. Where's the Death Star? Straight? Where's the Battle of Yavin? Where's the Battle of Endor? Where's the Space Battle of Endor? Where's Hoff? They have Hoff. <laughs> Did they have Hoff? Yeah. It's, I it's one of the. Play Hoff. It's one of the. Well, they had it in the first one. I'm pretty sure they had it in the second one. I don't mean they do it in the second one. Like, I played it just, the two. They only when they introduced the Clone Wars period did they introduce the Battle of Geonosis. And it's like, that's the only really made the. Like, the Battle of Geonosis, the Battle of Coruscant, and the Battle of Kashyyyk are the only three battles that you really know about in friggin' the prequels. The prequels. They're the only ones that are really shown. Yeah. Right? Um, and yes, the the original trilogy there is the Battle of Yavin, Battle of Hoth, and the Battle of um, uh, Yar- Endor. Endor. But the thing is, though, the Battle of Endor that's a land battle and a space battle, right? Where are they? <laughs> Why? What? Where is the Death Star trench one? Where is these things? Why are you? Why are you not giving the things that people want? Yeah. And that's why this. That's why Battlefield Two failed. Well, that that, that and Battlefront. The, Battlefront, Battlefront Two failed. That and the the, the monetization, which was basically a slot machine. Yeah. And that's why Battlefield Five has failed. It, it it's it is not giving the people what they wanted. The uh, reason why they did not giving the people the reason why they. I mean, hell, the what which maps did we have the most fun on? Off of um. Battlefield Five, probably Iwo Jima. Yeah, Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima is probably the most fun we've had on on that game. Iwo Jima and like I said, Iwo Jima and Rotterdam were the yeah. were the ones that I like. And Rotterdam, most. you could like twist it as like bridge too far, the Arnhem campaign. Yeah, because there's there is literally like a bridge you're fighting. There's over. there's a lot of bridges. There's on a that lot way. of bridges you're fighting <laughs> over. So you could argue you could play that as, and they're the ones that we have the most had the most fun on. Yeah. So um, imagine if they had added more of that. So, back onto the update. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll stop talking about the the failures of Battlefield 5. <laughs> There's a lot the, of them. Uh, so the last, the last update um, was obviously the Pacific. Last yeah. main update. And this season um, is going to be the last season. Yeah, this season will be the last one. Uh, it's going to be the... There isn't a, like, an announcement of what it is, though. That's the problem. It'll be just another thing of like do these things, get this stuff. It's 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 gonna be it's it's gonna be crap, basically. And if you pay us money, we'll give you the overpowered gun for this this yeah. season. Or we'll at least let you get to the gun a lot faster than anybody else. Yeah. Um. It is just this is the problem of live services. Like everyone who has put like money and effort into this game, it's going to mm. account for absolutely jack shit in about two years. But they are bringing back uh, Friday Night Battlefield, which is a um, 
uh, basically what they did was they kind of allowed you to play older Battlefield games. By oh, using... so you mean like Battlefield, basically Battlefield 4? <laughs> yeah, we could go to Battlefield 4, which was decent. You know, it allows you to, allowed you to do, go and do that. It was, it was Battlefield a... 4 was... Battlefield 4 was the last it one. Was like a, really... It was like a media... Um, not a media campaign. Um, like an advertisement. Yeah. To get people playing Battlefield. Old Battlefield, Battlefield town, the old town, Battlefield town, games. Sort of stuff. Um, look, Battlefield 4 and 3, I enjoyed really much because me and you used to go out and t- tank hunt. Tank hunt? We used to literally, just the two of us, take on tanks by ourselves and kill them. I mean, granted, we had to catch them in a fucking built-up area so that we could... Dub- Ducking and Dodge. out, yeah. Ducking and out of the ever decreasing buildings, <laughs> but it was fun. I mean, granted, it might not have been fun for the tank driver, but still, like, there was we had a chance of killing that thing. Yeah, it's not like fucking. It's... Right, yeah, you need your whole squad to go after that tank. That yeah. one, your tank. whole squad has to be armed to take them on because yeah. some of the classes just could not do anything. Yeah, to you them. can't be a medic and go after. Can't the be tank. a medic. Can't be a scout. You had to be either uh, assault with a bazooka. Or an engineer with the C4. Yeah. Which, by the way, if you've ever tried running up to a tank and attaching C4 to it, doesn't usually end well. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not good. No. It's not good. They were just so fucking overpowered. And this is, the worst thing was, right, if you had someone on your team that was shit in a tank, that was it. Yes. Because nine times out of ten, the, per- the whoever was on the opposite team in the tank usually knew what they were doing and was just obliterating everyone. Yes. I miss Battlefield 4. I really liked Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 was I fun. really liked that game. Also, Metro wasn't ridiculously fucking horrendous to attack on. That, I, I, I think don't... the one you're on about, that's not Metro. It's the Paris, it's the Paris-ish one, isn't it? It's the one that goes underground. Yeah, 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 but that's not what they've done. Is because Metro originally was just in the Metro. There, there no, no, no. Any... Metro started right, right. Metro, the original map of Metro, right, started we are in like a park where you had to gain access into the Metro cinema. You had to blow up. Basically, you had to clear the area to blow up the entrance to the. Metro. Oh, right. And okay. you go in and then fight through there. It, the map, it, it's a, it, the map is very, very similar. The one thing is, is that that fucking exit is yeah. so fucking ridiculous. Like the lens flare on that, you can't see out of the fucking tunnel. You can't see out of the, the you can't see out of the, like the kiosk, and you can't see out of um, like the blown the blown exits, the, the yeah. holes in the in. You, also, you can't see they're out. So small. They're the s- exits are so small. They are. So, it's so, there's a reason why like it has the most tickets out of any of the assault maps. And that's because that's that section is just ridiculous, because you just can't you can't see. No. You can't see what the fuck's in front of you. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I we played it once and I literally was like at that point going, who thought this was a good idea? You can't see out of it, which means they're just they are literally camping on the exit. <laughs> And just firing. And just firing because you're dead before you know you're being shot at because you can't see them. Yeah. You can't see them, so you can't, like, flank them because you don't know where the fuck they are. Oh, so the, if I remember correctly, there's actually no way to flank them? No, there isn't. You actually have to go out of those holes? Like, there's only on... three exits to it. Yeah. The thing is, though, is like, you have to exit en masse. You yeah. have to literally bombard the whole thing with grenades and smoke and everything and then hope, hope that they're blind firing into it because it's such a small area that they still don't kill you. Yeah. It is horrible. It is the <laughs> most worst. And the thing is, they can make it so much easier by just not making it so bright. Yeah. <laughs> like making it so that you can actually see out of the fucking thing. That's all they have to do. <laughs> uh. But yeah, it's it's just... Battlefield 5 is a game that could have been so much better and it wasn't because they just fucked it up so much. <sighs> they did. They just... I mean, the whole press thing with them putting up... Yeah, they had a bad... They had a bad run. They had a bad run. There... I wish I could tell you about the new update, but there's in this article, there is not a lot... Of course it's not. There's nothing in it. Be, it's just... They're just saying nothing. that the next one's going to be the last one. They're yeah. working on... A anti-cheat system to make the game more fun and fair. That's not going to happen. <laughs> a bit late for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, we're, the, we're killing the game off. But don't worry, we're finally putting in the anti-cheat system. Because the next Battlefield... Because this Battlefield game is going to be until 2022. The next one's not 
not scheduled for 2023. So there's another two years of this Battlefield. No, because they're going on to development of the next Battlefield. That's what I mean. So, like, what, are they just going to ignore this game? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, ah, it's fine. That's what they're going to do. Fine. That's what they're um, going to do. They're so, working on the new one. They don't care about I this don't one now. Know. I do not know what they're going to do with Battlefield. I'm not really looking forward to Battlefield. I think I've come to, to the end of my tether. With, uh, the last two games, with the last two games have been. Battlefield One had good ideas. It just had poor, good very, ideas. very poorly it, executed. It just weren't executed great. And I always give Battlefield One the benefit of the doubt. Battlefield Five, on the other channel, on the other hand, I just look at it and just go, "Nah, you're just there to make money." Like, there's a lot of things in that game where you just kind of look at it and you just go, "You've only done that." Like, the grind in that game is so ridiculously fucking slow. Yeah. It takes forever to do anything. If you anything. don't give them money, there is, there is, you either A, have to play that game non-stop, all day, every day, or you just don't get everything. Aye. Uh, you can't get everything. It's impossible. And they usually put the really, really, really cool stuff right at the end, which is fine. It gives the incentive to complete the thing, but it's just, it's just not, it's not fun. I do not enjoy playing Battlefield. No, not anymore. I do not enjoy... Spawning at a base, turning around the corner and seeing a tank and going, "Well, that's me dead for the next five minutes because it'll just I will just be having to fight the tank because no one else, um, rightfully so, no one else is trying to kill the tank because there's no point. It takes too long. You don't have enough ammo to even take on the yeah, tank. And I know, and we don't have a tank. Yeah, and the guy, our guy in the tank is literally over somewhere fucking else in the middle <laughs> in the middle of the fucking river, <laughs> shooting at Randomly nothing, shooting at things. <laughs> Randomly shooting at different trees. Um, but yeah, that that that'll be it for Battlefield Five. I, I don't want to talk about. I want to talk about something that makes me happy now. Okay. And so we are now going on to Final Fantasy Fourteen. Yay! You know how much I love. Yes. I love my Final Fantasy Fourteen. Final Fantasy Fourteen, who which which is literally look going to World of Warcraft. I'm going. Hey, hey, this, you this know, is how you do things. This is how you. This is how you release. Um, this is, this is how you release extra content. Yeah. This is what you do. Uh, so, uh, basically, there's a new update coming to Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. The, the summer one. And basically, what they're going to do is that it's going to trim um, A Realm Reborn, which is the so biggest the, the vanilla, the biggest the criticism the, 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 of Final the, Fantasy vanilla, the vanilla campaign. Is that it's very hard to get yeah. into at the start. It, yes. it, and it is. As it a is. person that is still stuck in that campaign. <laughs> It is. It is. Stuff. It is very slow and yes. very monotonous. Yes, it is. It is. It, it, is. it is a fair criticism it of is. that game. I'm stuck in it. Yes. It yes. Is. <laughs> um, but what they're going to do is they're going to actually trim that down, mm -hmm. and they're also going to add flying mounts to the area so you can get round a lot faster. Because the big thing for Final Fantasy uh, A Realm Reborn, the, the the standard vanilla game, is that it is. Um, it's old. It's boring, and it's it is fetch quests. It's it's just it's fetch like, quests. It's, and it's every old. every mission is a fetch quest until you get to a dungeon. Yeah, and the dungeons are now like it takes forever for you to get into those dungeons yes. now as well, which is what's um, stopping me at the moment. Which I think there are they are going to be added in because you know uh, Shadowbring has brought in that. Yeah, NPCs that, can actually join. You the, can have it, yeah. so you can have it. I think they're going to try and add that into. I think they should do it, the older ones. I think if they've got. If they've got it working on the new stuff, they sh I think they should be able to it's get away with it. It's just implementing them into Yeah, the figuring out how to implement them. And then just, you know, random fucking characters. <laughs> well, no, actually... It oh, is, some of them... Well, because you know, it makes it it makes it more believable, it is actually the, the, uh, it's actually the characters that you're with. Yeah. Uh, so you're with... Because you're with what the... Uh, where I'm up to, I'm with the remnants of the Scions of... Oh, God, what's their name? I've forgotten... Scions of Dawn? Like, I'm the wrong. good guys. The, the, the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> the group you're with. The, the group I'm with. The, the good guys. Um, I'm with them. And they come in. Now, I'm not up to Channel Bringers yet, so I don't get. Yeah, you don't get that. I don't get, you do, you don't I don't get, the get that, that fairness. But you what, what you'll do is, if you're with Yostel. Yeah, he'll come I, into the dungeon with you. Um, yeah, she, if she's part of the storyline, she'll come into the into the dungeon with you and she'll actually fight along with you instead of just being in cutscenes yeah uh, cool. so which is really really good I like that uh, but I like this because I think it's the it's the hardest thing for Final Fantasy XIV is around Reborn it's because 
because it is, it is mon- so slow. It is and is monotonous. M- monotonous and it is boring. And you and yeah, the story is not great. The story is very tropey and very cliche. It's like I've said to everybody: if you can skip a Realm being born, skip it. Just go straight to Heaven's Ward. Because I, which I do believe you can do. I think you can just buy a, a thing. Yeah, but I don't want to buy that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, if you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. I'm not like what I am saying is. If you get the you're past Realm Reborn. If, yeah, if so, you get the opportunity to get past Realm Reborn... Without so. having to do it, just do it. If you're a new starter and you don't want to you don't want to get stuck f- through the board and stuff, because I think actually Realm Reborn is now... You can actually go through the entirety of Realm Reborn for free. Yeah. If I remember correctly, it's free up to level 35, which yeah, I think which is, is pretty, pretty much, much <laughs> most of Realm Reborn. Yeah, the, if you just do um, the main, main plot line. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can get through that quite easily. But if you can skip it and you're willing to put the time into, because it, it's ten pound, roughly ten pound a month. Yeah. Anyway, so and if you're like me, it's just like, well, I'm paying ten pound a month. I'm playing this goddamn game. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you, if you can skip Realm Reborn, I used to be the person that would be like, skip Realm Reborn, get everything sorted for yourself, just go straight into Heaven's Word because Heaven's Word is fantastic. Stormblood yeah. is fantastic. Shadowbringers of everything that I've heard is fantastic. Yeah. So. Stick with stick with that. Plus the the new events that they keep bringing in now that they're like doing crossovers with other games. Oh god, yeah, like the, the, the Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter. Uh, up, update was really fun. I've just done that, really enjoyed it. There's a near one that's just come out, and there's a part two to that oh that's god. coming. That looks really really fun because uh, that looks like uh, they've actually done a like a near sort of thing. So it's, it's bullet hell. Oh god, you're dodging things. <laughs> I wonder how the hell that works in an RP in, a, in um, an RPG. Yeah, but apparently, yeah, uh, people like it. Um, they've just brought in Ruby Weapon from Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I've seen people fight that. That looks epic. that looks fun. Uh, uh, the music for the the updates for Final Fantasy XIV have been on point. Although Square Enix and their Final Fantasy series, the the music in those games usually, usually are on point. Yeah. Um, um, but I love the Final Fantasy XIV soundtrack. Looking, do you know what the thing is? One thing I'm looking forward to. I don't know if if they have. I've not seen anyone go up against it, but I'm looking, hoping that they add Emerald Weapon and have it as a, uh, on a timer. Like, uh, underwater. <laughs> literally is underwater and you're fighting Emerald They might weapon. do. They, that might and be then a... they may, may bring, like, mm, underwater material in. <laughs> That'd yeah. be cool. They um, might do that. But yeah, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, so yeah, I think this is this would be really good. It's uh, They've literally, I think, just come off a, a free weekend yeah. thing as well. Uh, I think this is a really good good idea for them to do. Yeah, I think you'll get a lot of more people down through that stuff it to makes, get to the good stuff. The thing is, though, it also means that people get to actually like experience the story because the story in a Realm Reborn is actually good. Yeah, it's all right. Like it's I said, still, it's, the problem is the actual quest is the quest layer. Yeah, like I said, Realm Reborn it's cliche and tropey. Yeah, that that's that's its problem. That's why it's boring and. Yeah, and but the actual stuff. like storyline beats like is actually not that bad. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good game, and it has been, it it has been beaten World of Warcraft for the last I think, yeah, couple of years. It's been doing the a thing lot is, is that they don't have. And I think that is the reason why <laughs> World, World, of, World of, they don't have a certain character in uh, Final Fantasy VII that is literally just fucking a MacGuffin, has the MacGuffin to beat everything. Despite everything that's happening to them, and still somehow gets away with it. I think, uh, I think World of Warcraft uh, WoW players may understand who I'm going on about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also think because um, Final Fantasy fourteen is a game that you can play on your PS4. Yeah, I think that might be uh, also part of its thing. Like you don't need a PC to play. Yeah, Final Fantasy yeah, it's on play, uh, PlayStation Four. It was on PlayStation Three. PS3, um, um, so I think, and despite I the think fact that that's it, the reason, yeah, it's it's a nice looking game. Mm. It's a good looking game, especially the uh, the later areas, especially um, the areas in Stormblood, because it's very um, there's areas that are based on like Japan, yeah, uh, and so it's got all the like the bright colors, like the cherry blossoms, the cherry blossoms and all that sort of stuff. It's really really pretty. Mm-hmm. It's a very pretty game. For, for what it is and I think and how um, old it is now as well yeah for how old it is and the co- with the constant updates yeah. and the constant sort of like community feedback that they they, they do they, they're constantly doing producer letters to um, yeah. little live streams to 
to fans and stuff like that to let them know that this is coming and this this is what we want to do. Yeah. And they they are doing a lot of that, which is also helps the game. Yeah. It also helps. Um, and I think, I think World of Warcraft. I think they've they've looked at that model and I think they want to do that. I think that's why the rumors for the how World of Warcraft might be coming to consoles yeah. has come from. Um, I think it. I mean, if I was Xbox. I would do it. I would go go and pay that a little bit extra to make it an Xbox exclusive. Potentially, yeah. That's what I would do. Because that's a lot of fans who yeah. would be able to play on their Xbox. I mean, you've already got your fans on on the PC who are already playing it. Yeah. But I can see a lot of people who... Like like me. I like I, I have a PC and I, I've got my console. I prefer to play on the console. Yes. If World of Warcraft came onto the Xbox... You'd look I, at there's it. There's a little bit of me that would go... All right, I'll give it a go, especially because I think World of Warcraft, like Final Fantasy, has the your it's free up to level thirty, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, so can. I could actually give it a try and see if yeah. I like it. Whereas PC, because I'm not, I do not like using keyboard and mouse. Keyboard and mouse, I don't want to touch World of Warcraft because that's what you have to use. Yeah, I can't use a controller. Yeah, you don't you don't like using hotkeys and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah, which is understandable. Um. um and I think that's that's where Final Fantasy has the one up. Over. Yeah, it's already on console. It's already on console. It's got that community. Um, and also it's it it's like it is using like PC players are playing with console. Yes, yeah, it's there's got crossplay. No, it's there's, and there's console. Uh, the other the other thing that I think Final Fantasy because like um, now I don't know about what the World of Warcraft community. I do not, uh, but I have read. Yeah, about there are, the community. There are like, certain some aspects. Bad things about there the are certain aspects. Whereas Final Fantasy, I have not come up against anything like that. If I'm new to a dungeon and I say this is my first time, there's a guy. There's usually a guy that I'm in with. That especially lately because I've only I've really just started getting back into it. And I'm I'm massively just attacking that game now. It, it, yeah. I don't really play anything else. <laughs> is that and Final Fantasy VII remake, and that's literally all I'm playing right now. And. I have yet to come across anybody that's just been like, "Oh God, I don't, I don't want to play with you because you're, you're, you're new." Like, he's lit. They've literally just been like, "Oh, okay, don't worry about it. Um, we'll, we'll help you. We'll find you anything it. that you need, just ask, and we'll. Oh, and then when we get to the boss, it's like, like this is his mechanics. This is what he does. This is what this he is does. What you do. You are the. You're. I'm a. I'm a samurai class. So I'm, an, I'm the damage dealer. Yeah. So it's just like you just go straight up, hit him, and then whenever the the, the things pop up on the floor, yeah, move out of the way. Yeah. So that sort of deal. Yeah. Um. Whereas um, I've obviously read about fun. It may not be like that. I don't know, but like. No, World there's Warcraft, been there's been stories from World of Warcraft. That's where, what I mean. Like I've like, read stories about World of Warcraft where, where like a tank comes in and goes, "Hi, I'm a new tank. This is the first time I've done this dungeon." And then pe- the damage dealers just go, "Oh, fuck you," and, and then leave. Yeah, yeah, I've read that a lot. Or like they'll deliberately get the the tank killed, or they'll deliberately just do bullshit. Yeah. Um, there's there's stories about that. There may be happening on in Final Fantasy XIV, but I, I it's not as prevalent. Yeah, like I said, I've like, never come across my, that. From my experience as playing Final Fantasy XIV, and like I say, I've gotten through the main camp, the, the, the Realm and Born campaign. I'm in the bit that's between Realm and Born and Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward. And I've only ever, through every single dungeon, every single random person I've come across, there has only been... and they, I used to, when I was playing it, I used to like go on it and it's like, okay, what events are going on? What what random battles occur? Yeah. I, I would go into all of them uh, as much as because I enjoyed him. Uh, and there was only once one person that was that was, and it was after I'd been off for a little bit and come back on, and my my key bindings had gone away, and I tried to put them back in, and I couldn't remember which ones were which, and so I was basically doing the wrong moves because my yeah, I I literally like I'd forgotten like half like which ones did which. And this one person was pissed off that I wasn't doing a certain attack. Yeah. And I used to get that a lot when I was the bard. I used to get shouted out a lot <laughs> over things like um, I'm not playing the right song for them or stuff like that. But it was never... No one ever sort of like left or was angry at me for playing the wrong song. They, or the they, song yeah. that they wanted. Because I would always come back with the argument of like, well, I'm the bard. <laughs> I play what I want to play, thank you. I know what I'm doing. 
I know what I'm doing. It wasn't like you were deliberately killing the team. I wasn't killing the team. I was my strategy for a lot of time when I was the bard because I was always with my friend, and my friend was the healer. Yeah. who used MP and a lot of it in dungeons, which if you're a healer in any MMO, you use a lot of MP. <laughs> yeah. You know you know this. It's like, yeah, you focused on making so sure that... So my, my... Because the, the bard has something where he sort of like... He plays... It's called the Mage's Ballad. And what it does is it means that they use less MP when they cast spells. Yeah. Which so I was like, right. And half the time, it would I would be the bard, my friend was the mage, and the other guy who was the damage dealer was always a black mage, half the time. Right? Yeah. So it was just like, well, I use the mage's ballad. Yeah. You guys get to do... you guys do more stuff. Yeah. And then for the rest of it, I just focus on just range shooting everybody. And then we've got the tank in the middle. Yeah. And um, so... I'd always explain myself and then they would kind of be like dumbstruck that like because I think half the time a lot of these people they, they think that when they see you doing the thing that they they don't, they don't like they think idiot. you're an idiot yeah and then, and then when you, you actually explain what you're doing yeah it's like no like, actually, oh oh okay oh that actually makes sense actually, that makes a lot of sense yeah oh, okay um, um yeah but yeah I think I think um I really like this idea that they're this trimming down uh, around Bourne. I like the uh, this isn't moving. I don't know why. I like the fact that we might be able to use our flying mounts in the beginning areas so that yeah. we can just get through them really, really fast. Really, really fast. Um, I mean, I wonder if we're going to have to pick up the the ether currents because that's what you got to do to be able to fly in the area. You got to fly yeah. the ether currents, uh, which may, is fine because it, fi- it's a little bit fun. It gives you something to do. Um, where if you don't want to, especially if you want to like level up, it's something for you to do while you're looking for events and stuff. Yeah, it gives you something like right. I need a I need a ether currents. I'll pop me compass. Uh, there's an event over there. Let's pop me compass. Let's see if it takes me in that direction. I'll go to the event and then I'll just keep going until yeah. Until it's it's really good. There's a lot of good things about Final Fantasy 14, and I cannot stop singing its praises. So yeah, everybody play if you if you have the money. If you have the money, play Final Fantasy XIV. It, is, it a is a very good MMO. It is MMO. a good game. It is. It is a very good MMO. Um, I'm not saying that World of Warcraft is shit or anything like that, because I've never played it. Um, but, like I said, I would give World of Warcraft a go if it came on the Xbox. Or well, actually, if it came on the PS4. Yeah. Part of me kind of wants, if Black Desert Online goes, yeah, we're, we're going to give you a free trial, I'll... I might download Black Desert Online. <laughs> try just for, that. Just for, just for a giggle. You just try that. See what that's I like, like MMOs. What can I say? They're nice long games that you can just kind of sink yourself into. Especially when the world is the way the fucking is at the moment. <laughs> yeah. When you just want to escape. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. No, I think we t- we've... Uh... So the moral of the story is play Final Fantasy XIV. Yes. That's the, that's the moral that's that we've That's the moral of the story. And this goddamn... This is, this is what I get for going to Game Radar. Yeah. Oh, you didn't mention who was the. Oh, it's um. Right, this is an article on Game Radar, and it's by Connor Sheridan. More killer, less thriller. Okay. Killer. Sorry, less okay. killer. Okay. Which is good. Which is good. But yeah, anyway, if you do want to get back onto Final Fantasy uh, fourteen, by the way, buddy, I will help you through. Yeah. I, I don't mind will. going back. I through, need to uh, uh, sort everything out. But... I don't mind going back through Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward is quite fun. Yeah. Part there's a little part of me now with this, like, do I want to make a new character? Because there's new. There's new um, new classes. Not new classes. Um, species. Oh yes. There's, there's two new, new species. Yeah. There's the uh, one that kind of got like horns. Yeah, and there's one. The, and there's, there's the, the bunnies from, from twelve. From twelve. There's the the bunny group. Yeah. So I mean, I can buy the 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 drink that lets me change your character. change my what my character looks like, which I kind of want to do because I want to change his tail. But um, other than that, I don't. I just. I don't want to spend like. I, I think, well, I think, I think both, like eight well, both. Both our characters are cat boys, aren't they? <laughs> mine's a cat boy. Yes, mine's mine a, is a cat boy. Mine's a cat boy as well. Yes. I'm pretty sure. We're both cat boys. So I might. I might want to change because I don't want to be a cat boy in a group with, with another cat boy. Territorial and all that. Yeah, territorial. I might be a bunny boy. I don't think we have a bunny boy in our group. That's fine. Anyway, yeah. It is fun to play. It's really good. The story is fantastic. They, you know, very good. And it's, the it's just been else. getting, it's just been getting better each yeah. story. It's why I'm looking forward to get once I get to Shadowbringers. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it because the the stories have been great. Um, also, the the stories in between the things that like lead up mm-hmm. the new big updates, 
big, uh, big expansions, sorry. Uh, they're usually quite good. Thing is, my one thing is, is like I, I know what will happen with me is when I get back in is I'll just become the armor again because I enjoyed. It's weird. <laughs> I enjoyed the job part of it. The, yeah. the 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 making the armor, getting the materials, and making the armor, and making all these stuff, and I was, I I actually really enjoyed it. You can make a lot of gill. Yeah. Yeah, by doing that now. Oh god, yeah. You can make a lot of. You gill. could make a decent amount if you got high enough to be able to infuse uh, material into it. Yeah. The money you could make it was. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> the gill. Oh, the gill. You can just basically... Because what I used to do was I would buy the materials that I needed. Yeah. But I would bulk buy. Mm. So I would find out who would sell the most for... And then and then make, basically just make a whole bunch of shields and a whole bunch of armor sets and a whole bunch of like... And the best, the best money I made was actually from furniture. So I would make all the iron furniture and then put it up up, up to sale. And it, they were the first ones to go. And they would... It was it was it was fun to do, and it's like I'm not moving anywhere. I'm not progressing the story, and yet I'm <laughs> I'm enjoying. I, it. I think I was a fisherman. No, I became well, a you fisherman. Were, you were a lever worker. I was a lever worker, but then I did that for like five minutes, and I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> and then I found out you could be a lumberjack, and then I just became a lumberjack. Oh yeah. I ran around cutting trees down. That was literally the wood. and then selling the wood. That's literally all I do in that game. It's just like if I'm not doing the story or any sort of like dungeon or event, yeah. it's literally like, right. Let's go cut some trees down. Uh, I'm a lumberjack, <laughs> and that's okay. literally all I do. Um. Yeah. But yeah, it's it, it's weird. I enjoy the job part. Of it. The job. The thing is, the game actually does quite well at doing because the, the, if you actually think about it, there's actually quite a few jobs. There's a lot of jobs to, to that you can join. So if you don't like being like you like being the armorer, yeah, like metal worker. I think it's a metal, metal worker. worker. If you don't like that, once you've gotten through to the point where you've unlocked all three cities in yeah. a realm of oh, no. one, the jobs. It's like um, there's there's I, I'm pretty sure it's the armor, but there's a weaponsmith, um, armorer, um, lever worker. Um, fisherman, lumberjack. Yeah. Oh, there's there's so many. I'm trying to think of them all. There's there's a lot. There's a there's quite a few. Isn't there another Chocobo the, Breeder one as well? There is. That's in Shadowbringers. That's the new one, Chocobo Breeder. Which I'm actually why part of the reason why I want to get to Shadowbringers, so I can be like I'm now a Chocobo Breeder. Breeder. That's literally all I'm gonna do because I've got a blue Chocobo. Yeah. I like my blue. It's called Mr. Bato. <laughs> yeah, yours is yours is uh, Mr. Bato and mine's Tachikoma. Yeah. Ghost in the Shell references. I was about to say, <laughs> some people may get that reference. Ghost in the Shell references, people. Um, yeah, that anyway, we're, 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 we've gone on too far we've now. We've gone, gone on too far. Well, I've, I've been gushing about Final Fantasy. I've been wanting to gush about Final Fantasy XIV for a while. Yeah, which is why I um, like it. I didn't uh, much. Hey, you let me go off on a tangent on Battlefield, Battlefield Five And... Uh, and uh, 2k well ea basically <laughs> you let me go off on a tangent on ea and how awful they are yeah so i, I it was only that right for me to let you go um and square enix i think it's great enix are just hitting out of the park at the moment with everything yeah. that they do yeah um final Fantasy remake is beautiful it's beautiful it's, it's fantastic it's, it's fun fun to play um they've got the characters i think because i've heard some people react to the end so I'm going to save my final judgment not until that happens. Until we finish it. Until we finish it, yeah. which is... I'm cons It's made me concerned regarding it. It's like, what the hell have they done to make people react the way they're doing? What have they done? Um, but, like, for, I'm not looking forward to um, the play part. Oh, the play part. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna crush me, that. With Jesse. I've Jessie, actually... I've kind of, like, fallen in love with Jesse. Jesse's and just like I, because I already know what happens to Jesse. I'm just sort of like, please stop showing me things about Jesse. I don't want to know anymore. Jesse Wiggs and Biggs, all three of them. I'm literally like, oh god, don't do this, don't. I like these guys. I liked them before, but I like them even more now. It's going to be even harder for me for Aerith. Yeah, but because that's not like this happen. Aerith, I've literally like because I didn't have a best girl in Final Fantasy yeah. Seven. I didn't really have a best girl, but this this one I love. Aerith. I want to wrap her in bubble wrap and protect her. Like, no. I do not want anything bad to happen. But I know something bad happens to Aerith. So yeah. I'm like, nope. Nope. Well, here's the thing. That shouldn't happen till after this game. Yeah, I know. But it, it doesn't matter. It's still there. And I'm it's just still sort in the of back like, of your head like, this is going to happen. It's going to happen. And I'm... Like, why did you do this to me? <laughs> I didn't have a best girl. 
in the original one. Oh, I, yeah. I, I never had a. I like prefer... Yuffie, but that was just because Yuffie randomly punches the air <laughs> in that ridiculous sort of because it's all chibi and blocky. It's just like a. That's it. But now, now it's like Arif. Arif is is my girl. Yeah, can you imagine what they do she's, with? She's bonkers. Here's the thing, though, right? What are they going to do with Yuffie when she comes? Because because they've, they've they've developed Tifa is just like I love the development of Tifa. Tifa's good. Um, Barrett is like best dad ever. Yes. You forget how there good is, of a dad. There is one thing that they didn't that they have that they've missed out. When Cloud mentions um, in the original, uh, when Cloud mentions that he wants more money, yeah, the second bombing them. Um, Barrett basically is like hesitant, and Tifa has to talk him out of it. Of, yeah. of like, yeah, well, to agree to it, and he basically goes, yeah, but that's Marlene's college fund. What? No, it's 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 not my money; it's hers. Mm. And it's like, I I do have to admit, I do love the fact that they've like expanded that Barrett is like literally the doting father. Yeah, he is literally like, no, Marlene is the precious little girl that I will fight and die for. <laughs> yes. This is why I'm doing this, and damn anyone who tries to say, <laughs> who tries to harm her. I will be, be honest; I forgot. How good of a dad Barrett Barrett is like is. one of the best Barrett is computer game dad. Such a good dad. Even though like he's he goes out to blow things up. Yeah, it's like literally you know everything that he does is for Marley. Yeah. I mean in like, spoilers, it's... in the game in the original, he goes and fights her real father. Yeah. Because it's like, no, I can't let you go near her. You're you are you're insane. You are insane. I can't let you near near Marlene. No, no, it can't happen. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. We need to end this. Call. <laughs> need to end this chat. Otherwise, we're just going to keep gushing about Final Fantasy Seven yeah. and Fourteen. Right. So anyway. Um, so uh, anyway, moral of the story: buy Final Fantasy Fourteen and play it, and you'll if you if you have the money. Um, also, just go and get Final Fantasy Seven because fuck the ending. If the ending's shit, then I don't care. I en- I am enjoying that game so much. Yeah, it's a good and game. No I'm matter now, what happens, it's a good game. I am now on Team Aerif. I I love yeah. Aerif. I um, mint. And uh, EA and 2K suck. That's yes. the other. That's the other. Yeah. It's moral. A, uh, I don't think there was. Was that it? That was it. We did a little chat about the, the PlayStation pack. controller at yes. the beginning of the chat, but that was it. Um, so yeah. Anyway. I do hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, chat. Which is um, probably a little bit longer than usual. Yeah. Bit longer than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. But then we got off. We started. We, we got rolling on certain things. We got things. rolling. You started running and I started gushing. And that's yeah. basically what, what happened there. Um, so I do hope you've enjoyed this chat. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and edit like I've been editing. I'm trying to get better at my editing with, yes. with videos and stuff. So Practice makes perfect. Yeah. So hopefully I can do this decently. Get it uploaded to tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. Yes, tomorrow um, is Tuesday. Despite tomorrow the, is Tuesday. Despite the fact that this weird world is now literally all the days of merging it's into just one. merged into one because I can't tell where I am. Um, I think so, everyone. I think everyone understands where you're coming from. Yeah, there. it's like is this the weekend? I don't know. Usually the weekend is when I spend. At I've home. given up. I've given up. <laughs> but I'm spending every day at home now. This is weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, do uh, if you if you've stuck around, uh, put a comment in. In the, in the comments. Yeah. What do you think about like? What do you think about Battlefield, uh, 5's Battlefield 5's development? The last update. The, yeah. Because we didn't actually up- we didn't actually really talk about the last update because there's not much news on. No, the they're last not actually saying what it's they're just, doing. It's the last update. Uh, maybe what do you think about uh, 2K skipping 2020 for WWE? And I mean, what do you think about the the whole idea of um, streamlining uh, streamlining a Rome, a Rome reborn? Yeah. For for newcomers. Which, which which I do think now, if they do that, they it will be that's the free period. Like once you get to the end of a Realm Reborn, you're yeah you're onto Heaven's Ward. Yeah, and you'll mostly only experience the story. Yeah, which it's like I say, yes, it's ham, yes, it's cliche, it's still a good story. Yeah, it's still a good story. And like the characters are really good and really invested in them. So anyway, cliches are cliches for a reason. Yes. Anyway. I do hope you enjoyed this chat and we will see you in the next videos. Bye now. Toodles.